Hey, hey, welcome back. Four weeks out right now. It is super exciting. One month away and it's like just becoming summer here. So it's my time of year to shine and I'm really excited. Right now I'm just sitting outside one of my clients' house. They're running late and thought I would jump on and start my YouTube video for this week. Basically, four weeks out, I should feel like crap and I don't. Um, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's a good thing, I guess. Uh, right now I am on very high cardio and very low calories and I've been for the past few weeks, but I've been managing it very well. I don't feel super hungry all the time. Um, I don't feel crabby a lot of the time, sometimes, but um, I think that's normal just being a woman anyway, or at least it's normal for me. So I'm on 80 minutes of cardio a day plus 10,000 steps outside of that plus four to five days of training. I've been doing five, but I might drop it down um, this week and next week just because I'm getting into like uh, weeks three and four of this new mesocycle and it's it gets more challenging. So I might need some more days to recover and trying to get a massage once a week or every other week. And then my food is on, I have like five low days where I'm on 70 carbs and then two high days where I'm on 140 carbs. So um, I structure those uh, on my rest days so that way I am refueling and completely um, completely alleviating as much of the, the training stress that I can on those days. And yeah, I'm excited to show you how this week goes. So I'm back. So I think a big reason why this prep isn't as hard is because I've been doing this for the past five years since 2017 and every single year it gets easier just because this is just the way I live. It's not like I went from eating, you know, a bunch of crap all the time and never training to all of a sudden um, just jumping into this like lifestyle. It's just how I live. Um, no matter if I'm I think, you know, one of the girls at the gym asked the other day, she's like, how long have you been preparing for the show? How long have you been in prep? And I was like, well, five years, because you're never off, you know? I'm always hitting my protein targets, always hitting my water targets, getting my steps in, getting my training in, working hard, trying to recover and sleep well. And the only thing that really changes is um, how much food I'm on. And obviously, as it gets closer to the show, my food will go down and my energy expenditure will go up. And when I'm further away from the show and my goal is to build muscle in the off season, I'm on more food and less activity. But my habits all stay the same. I get up early, I you know, drink my water, take my supplements, um, do some, some type of movement in the morning. Um, I always, you know, if we're on vacation, I'm still training, following my training plan. Earlier this year, we went to an all-inclusive resort in um, in Mexico, and Derek and I were there five days a week, just like we are in normal life. And you know, it just gets easier when I don't have to change my whole lifestyle for this. It's just, it's just what I do. So you know, if you are thinking about ever competing in a show, know that um, you should spend at least a year just like practicing, developing really good habits and practicing staying consistent because um, that's that's going to give you the best results and make it the most enjoyable experience. Upper body day. Already a few sets in just because it's a little bit busy so I wanted to explain what I'm doing now in the middle of my workout. Um, okay so I first started off with four sets of 8 to 12 incline dumbbell press. Then I superseted that with um, banded one and one fourth reps pull ups. Um, I like to, on my upper body days, I like to superset a push and a pull exercise just to get more volume in, um, as well as just keep the workout moving along. For lower body days, I just do straight sets where I, you know, do one exercise, all the sets before moving on to the next. So, next, I am doing machine shoulder press, 12 to 15 reps mixed with seated handle neutral grip lat pull down for 12 to 15 reps. Um, just training here at Body of Learning, which is awesome because I'm the only one here and uh, it's just nice to have the whole place to myself. So here we go.
getting there. Hello, hello, Sunday night. I realized once again, I forgot to film most of this week. So I thought maybe I would just give you a quick rundown of how it went. Um, so obviously just filmed the upper body workout. I do that once per week and then I have one other upper body day and three lower body days that I get in every week. Um, this week I've had 80 minutes of cardio on top of my 10,000 steps. So it's been, um, a lot of time uh, early in the mornings. I start work at either five or six, so I'm up to either do a half an hour or an hour of cardio before then, just because um, that's like the time of the day where I feel my most energized, not because it makes a difference doing it faster or not, just because if I wait until I'm done with my clients at 7 p.m., I just probably won't do it. So I, um, you know, eat the frog first, do the hardest thing first, get it out of the way, um, and I just heard from my coach that my cardio is upping to 100 minutes per day this week. So um, basically this just comes into like a organizational challenge because a lot of times I have um, between six and 10 clients per day and I travel to them. So that's, you know, that many hours plus travel time, um, plus like planning out their, planning out their workouts and things like that. So it's, um, it's a lot and I basically am just living to prep right now. It's starting to rain a lot, we gotta go back. But um, another thing, so I had a lot of relaxation and recovery this weekend. Friday, I had this cupping done. My right shoulder like internally rotates and it, it's causing me a bit of pain. So um, I just got that done on the front and the back. And then, okay. Ricky had me twisted up. And today I just had an 80 minute deep tissue massage. It was amazing, it felt really relaxed and just, oh my gosh, it's so rainy. Um, and then Saturday I slept <laughs> from, from four to seven and then went to bed at nine. So, I, you know, everything's just kind of hitting me. The low calories, the high activity, um, but we're almost there, three weeks out from this first show. Hopefully all goes um, as planned there and I place top two. Obviously, I'm just bringing in the best package that I can bring because you can't help who shows up or anything like that. Either way, um, it's fun to see how many, ch how much changes that I've made over the course of two these past two years um, in this big off season that I've had because my shoulders look completely different. My glutes, like even three weeks out, look so much better than they looked on show day last time. So I've definitely kind of already won internally because that's the name of this sport. Like how can you improve season to season, show to show, um, because you know I, I have no control over anybody else or anybody else's genetics or hard work, only mine. And that's kind of what you need to focus on. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again next week. When